Hello, welcome to Health Hacks. Today we're going to talk about a topic that affects many women, vaginal itching and abnormal vaginal discharge. Whether you're young or old, these issues can happen to anyone. While some vaginal discharge is normal, it's important to recognize when it might indicate a problem, especially if it's accompanied by an unpleasant odor or itching. Now, let's dive into the causes of vaginitis. Bacterial imbalance. Vaginitis can occur when there's an imbalance of bacteria in the vagina. Some bacteria are beneficial, but an overgrowth of harmful bacteria can lead to inflammation. Yeast infections. Yeast can also cause vaginal inflammation. When yeast overgrows and infects the vaginal area, it can result in symptoms. Pinworm infection. Surprisingly, pinworms can migrate from the anus to the vagina, causing vaginitis. Sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. Some STIs can lead to vaginitis if left untreated. Hormonal changes. Hormonal fluctuations, especially during menopause or after a hysterectomy, can contribute to vaginitis. Now let's discuss the risk factors for vaginitis. Frequent changes in sexual partners. Engaging in unsafe sexual practices can increase the risk of vaginitis. Uncontrolled type 2. Diabetes. Poorly managed diabetes can make you more susceptible to infections, including vaginitis. Excessive vaginal cleaning. Cleaning the inside of the vagina too often can disrupt the natural flora. Wearing tight or moist underwear. Tight and moist underwear can create an environment that's conducive to infections. Hormonal birth control. The use of hormonal birth control methods can influence hormone levels, potentially increasing the risk of vaginitis. Non-prescription medications. Using medications like antibiotics, corticosteroids, or thyroid drugs without a doctor's prescription can contribute to the development of vaginitis. Now, let's explore the common symptoms of vaginitis. Itching. Persistent itching around the vaginal area is a common symptom. Unpleasant odor. Abnormal vaginal discharge may have a foul odor. Redness. The skin around the vaginal area may appear red and inflamed. Discharge. You may notice an unusual, often white or grayish discharge. Pain or discomfort. Some women experience pain during urination or sexual intercourse. Now, on to the treatment of vaginitis. The treatment of vaginitis depends on its underlying cause. If it's due to bacteria, antibiotics may be prescribed. If it's a yeast infection, antifungal medications like ketoconazole may be used. Hormone therapy can be considered for hormonal imbalances. Antihistamines can help relieve itching. As for complications, if left untreated, vaginitis can lead to more serious conditions, including sexually transmitted infections and premature birth in pregnant women. Lastly, prevention is key. Practice safe sex. Avoid frequent changes in sexual partners and engage in safe sexual practices. Maintain good hygiene. Clean the outside of your vagina, but avoid douching or using soaps inside. Wipe properly. When cleaning after using the toilet, always wipe from front to back. Choose breathable underwear. Opt for cotton underwear to reduce moisture and irritation. Manage diabetes. If you have diabetes, keep your blood sugar levels in check. Use prescription medications wisely. Only use prescription medications as directed by a healthcare professional. Regular health checkups. If you have chronic conditions, get regular checkups. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Stay healthy and see you in the following video. Goodbye.